Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked with the youth stat hook and managed the state using that. Now in this lecture, we will take a look on components again because right now we used and implemented functional components. Using functional components is all fine and we can achieve all things that we achieve from a class component. So it's optional to use any of them. Okay. But there were some differences initially because the functional components are considered as the stateless components and the class components were considered as the stateful components. But since React 16.8 hooks are introduced and now you can manage the states in a functional component as well. And we practiced that in the last lecture. Now in this lecture, we will convert an existing component or existing functional component into a class component and we will see how this works. So let's choose the welcome component for converting into class components. Okay, so now switch to the project directory and into the project directory you can see that we have a welcome component that is in that is exists as a functional component now okay and we need to convert this into a class component so we just need to replace the function with a class name and we need to extend this class with the react component so this is how you can how we can do replace this const by class okay and remove this method syntax because this is not needed anymore and here we can use extends and then react dot component react dot component now in this class component the return methods need to be placed inside the render method okay so here you can see that now we are returning this react element onto the browser inside the return method okay so we need to cut this return method and we need to place this inside the render method and render method is the only required method inside the class components okay because class components have several other methods like constructor component did mount as well or and many more as well okay so both all other methods are the sorry so all other me methods are the optional only the render method is necessary here okay and we will look at such methods when we will fetch data from rest api and display into dom using create component but for now let's focus on the re render method only so this is how you can define the render method and then here you need to paste your return method inside the render okay so now your component will be rendered okay and you need to make sure one thing that the render function should be pure meaning it does not modify component state it returns the same result each time it is invoked okay and it does not directly interact with the browser if you need to interact with the browser perform your work inside the component did mount method or the other lifecycle method instead okay keep render method pure makes component easier to think about and i will add the link of uh, the tutorial where you can learn more about the class components into the description of this lecture okay so now save this component and that's it this is how you can create a class component in react okay so right now we just converted a functional component into the class component if you want you can design all your component as a class component from scratch okay now let's see on the browser if everything working fine so save this file and switch to the browser and here you need to refresh your page and when you refresh your page just you can see that we are still seeing the same data and our question detail controllers state is a question detail components state is also working so we can see you can update the like button click and the updates are displaying here okay so everything is works fine and that's all from this lecture now in this lecture we will see how to manage states and properties into a class component and we will convert the question detail component into a class component okay till then let's give this lecture a try and also please check out the link in the description to know more about the react components okay till then thanks for watching this and tata goodbye take care and stay safe